Good morning, sunshines. Today is Wednesday, the 30th, I think it is now. I don't know, I'm just gonna go over you with my morning. This is my face, currently. Feels good. I have to put this stuff on it every morning and night now. It's like prescription stuff though, so I put this on in the morning and this on at night. That's what Dr. Simon gave me after the cool laser treatment that I did a video on. So I think I just put this stuff on until I run out of it. It's really interesting texturally. It's like a mousse almost. I don't know, stuff's kinda cool. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it doesn't smell good either. This is my morning cream and this is my night cream, which has everything the morning cream has and some other ingredients too, but I don't know how to pronounce or anything about those. So that's what I've just put on my face. I just thought I'd go over what I love today. I've been listening to the X Nation new album. It's the one, I don't know if y'all heard that Revenge song, but I really love that song and that song's on this. And it's really interesting because this is the guy that's the song, Look At Me. 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 Yeah. Fuck on me. Yeah. You know, very aggressive and this, this whole album's super chill. I kind of like the vibe of it. It's cool. Old 17 by XX. <laughs> I know nothing, so I, let me know if that's like how to pronounce this thing. But that is what I was kind of listening to this morning as I made my coffee. Nice Florida mug. I'm sure Becca got for me. She always gets me like a Starbucks mug. Please. I don't think I've been to Florida. Maybe. I don't know. And then I got a new show that I'm obsessed with right now. Well, I'm on episode six. It's called Insecure and it's on HBO. So if you have an HBO membership from Game of Thrones and you still want to utilize it, I think this show is awesome. It's just super addicting to watch and very just relatable. It's about like dating and life and stuff. The main character is just hilarious. So I have the main characters. I like them all. So highly recommend the show Insecure. You should watch it. I get my HBO membership through Amazon Video or it's the Amazon app on my TV. And I think that's the easiest way to watch movies. And you could log into Amazon from like your PlayStation, your Xbox, your TV your computer or anything. So I just feel like it's really versatile and easy to use. So that is so far my morning. And now I'm gonna go you know, get ready for the day. I'm gonna go work out with Ashley in a little bit. She's looking at new apartments nearby. So I'm excited for her to live closer. Also, I'm highly newly addicted to Words with Friends again. I didn't always used to be. Me and my mom playing. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I have a problem. It's all I do. Every time Miles looks at me, he's like, are you still playing Words with Friends? I'm like, I can't help it. I'm about to make a coffee and I just got this new sugar-free vanilla syrup. I'm very excited to try it. Zero carbs. Zero fat. I just got this one because Miles is all whatever about carbs right now, but I really want to try the hazelnut one because it looks yummy. So let me tell you how it is in my coffee right now. sugar-free <laughs> but it's good definitely definitely sugar-free though it's got that Splenda aftertaste I'm here at home goods in Glendale trying to find a bench for my recording room and they have nothing I mean, they have some things but they're cute so now I'm looking at art and just seeing what they have because I've never been to a Los Angeles home goods before Mm. And these two art pieces, which I both think are cool and are both like tempered glass, I might take one home. I don't know which one though. This one I feel like has some of the same colors as the cactus, like the green and the yellow. Maybe. This one's cool. It's like a drone shot. Unsuccessful mission at Home Goods. They had no benches, which is what I want. I want kind of like a little, I guess, love seat kind of, but smaller. Even like a little futon or something. Just something all white and nice and clean looking. I didn't have anything. I liked some of the art, but then I was thinking of the wall space in my apartment. I don't know where I would put it exactly, so I wanna go measure above my TV and stuff and see how much space I have before I invest in an art piece. And I didn't love any of them. I liked a lot of them a lot, but I didn't love them. So I'm going to go back, measure, and I'll come back at another time. I almost never leave home goods with nothing. And everyone always, uh, not everyone, but a bunch of people ask me where I do get my stuff from my apartment. And I would say 80% of it is from home goods. And if it's not from home goods, it's from Target. <laughs> like I invested in my couch. My couch is a pricey couch. And recently I got a few things from CB2. But other than that, home goods in Target. It's a major key. So now I'm going to journey back home. So I need a smaller car because it's very hard to park a mid-size SUV in the city. I reversed into my parking spot for the first time ever. <laughs> Just finished some successful cardio on the Stairmaster with my toe. I feel like I have to kind of walk on the other side of my foot, but it's all right. No pain. I got a new plan to do, and yeah, tonight I'm just chilling. I'm not really nauseous partway through cardio. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm decaying away. I think I'm just gonna. Shit happens. It's all right. Good morning, sunshine. 
sunshines. Today is a great day. <laughs> it's Friday morning, so TJF. Also, I had a new low weigh-in of 113.6, which is cool. Though every time I start to lose too much weight and I haven't been like lifting heavy, I always like, I'm always just thinking it's muscles. So I'm like, gotta get to the gym. Three, this is like a weird random problem that I've had for years. Literally years now. Never talk about it because it's not really that relevant. Weird random problem. When I first started YouTube in 2014, I just kind of signed up with the first network I found. Because at the time, if you wanted to get paid for YouTube views, you had to have like a network. So I signed up for this network, which turned out to be the first one that contacted me. At the time, I used to get a lot of emails from them. I don't know. And it turns out it's like this Russian network, which is fine, but all of their emails to me are in Russian. I don't understand anything they ever say to me. I apparently signed a contract and I couldn't log into the site because it's all in Russian and I couldn't figure it out. And then when you tried to translate, Translate it from Russian, it translates poorly, and then I would send them emails and be like, hey, can you help me? And then no one would ever respond to me, so I was going crazy. And I've literally been locked into this since February 2014. And then finally, there's this option on YouTube where that you can unlink from your network. Every time I requested to unlink, it always denied me because it requests the network to unlink you. And so I was like, gosh, so frustrating. And then finally, it had, it, they changed it to a remove access button. So I clicked remove access on August 1st. And then it was like, okay, well, we'll decide by August 31st, it'll be removed. The access will be removed from your network. So I waited 31 days <laughs> this morning, September 1st, I woke up and I am a free agent. I am no longer locked into a network. Basically the network was taking like 20 to 30% of what I earn or whatever through YouTube ad revenue, which is all the hell now anyway. But <laughs> the important thing is, is that I finally have freedom, I'm free from my MCM and I am pumped about it. So those are two good things that happened this morning and we're gonna go film a badass workout right now and get a vlog up for y'all. And I am just excited about life right now. Speak of the devil. I know. Ah, you made it! Ash is like, I'm running a little late, and then she shows up an hour and a half later. I thought she'd been bathing my 20 cats. minutes. Oh, she's bathing cats. Yeah, that's a struggle. I, I can feel that. <laughs> made it to the gym. Great lighting. Put makeup on. Walking here, I, and even doing cardio last night, I kind of feel my toes still a little bruised. I think it's healed or bruised, so I'm not going to do anything plyo wise or squats today because I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to do like, some machine work and cable work that's not too hard on it because I don't want to damage it any further and then I'll be able to not work out longer, etc. We're going to do leg press and some other stuff right now. So let's do it. And someone's on the big leg press, so we're going to do little leg press. Until, and then I had to 
moment where you're like, what do you grab from your apartment to leave when you think the whole thing's gonna burn down? So it's literally me, Max, and my laptop. And that's what I got. But I don't actually any judgment. But, no, everyone out here has their dog, and I don't see any other cats, so I'm kind of offended this way, because Max is here. <laughs> he's very confused, but he's good. <laughs> So we don't have to go back up 26 flights, of course. But they said the fire was something like down low, so it doesn't matter to me. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine. Oh, <laughs> Biggest scare of my life. What happened was, what happened was, me and Ashley are visiting Jasmine's on, she lives like on the 20th floor. We live in the same apartment complex. Ashley and I had just left Jasmine's apartment and walked out and the whole hallway was just super foggy and I could just see smoke and it smelled like burning and I'm like what's going on at the exa exact same time I get a text from Miles is this a drill or is this for real um, I smell burning and he's eight floors up in my um, apartment and so Ashley and I both freak out we're like what's going on both of us are like wait a minute I've never seen this much smoke in the hallway before so I run back in I tell Jasmine I think something's on fire grab Prince and we need to go and then as soon as I get Jasmine and Prince out of the apartment and then we're looking around and we don't know what to do and then I just have this moment of shock where I'm like, I have to grab Max. So the elevators aren't working, I turn around, go up the staircase, like without even thinking or telling Jasmine or Ashley, I just had to run. I ran up eight flights of stairs and I'm just panting heavily and then Miles is in the hallway and then all the neighbors are in the hallway and everyone's confused and there's smoke in my hallway too. We have to get Max, we have to go. And no one knows what's going on at all, but there's a lot of smoke in the hallway and we're 28 floors in the air or whatever. So we grab Max and then uh, Miles, Max, and I, Ashley had ended up um, grab, coming to the apartment too to grab her bag and all her stuff. And then we all run down 28 flights of floors, 28 stairs, and everyone in the apartment's running down. So we finally get down to the bottom and everyone in the whole apartment's just like out there. We're all standing confused. There's four fire trucks, the whole street's closed off and everything. And apparently someone had uh, lit a cigarette and thrown like a lit cigarette down the trash chute. And the trash chute is on every single floor all the way up to the top, obviously. So they had to put out the fire in the trash room, but that's why there was smoke in every single hallway, even though it was technically on the bottom floor this happened. So thank God no one was hurt. Everything got, was totally fine. But I did have that moment in my apartment where my heart was just in my chest and I, I was like, what do I grab if, I, if this whole thing goes down? And I had no idea how serious or not serious it was at the time. I've never seen the apartment evacuated like that and all the elevators shut off and everything. So I, I literally, I just had Max and then I already had my laptop and my backpack from when I was at Jasmine. So I was like, this is good. I got me, Max, Miles, Ashley, Jazz, Prince, we're good. And then my instincts just told me like that was what was important. And what was important was that we all made it out healthy and alive. And I guess my laptop has, you know, my whole, my job is basically on my laptop. I have to have that. And other than that and Max, I was like, it's fine. Everything else I can, I can live without at the end of the day. You know, and I know that's such a scary feeling. I know that's how everyone in Houston is feeling right now with all of their, um, with all the cash fees and disaster -ness going on there. It is so hot in here. Is it hot? The AC's on. You came back. I came back. I've oh. been here forever. Wait. Yeah, I went to go print out a Judgment bunch of documents. For abandoned me. <laughs> but that's abandoned fine. Shit. <laughs> We're all safe and alive and happy. And no one's apartment burned down. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was probably one of the that was one of the scariest moments of my like I home. Like I've out. never been afraid my home was gonna burn down like I that. I never called you like ten times. I was so worried about it. Oh yeah, because I just ghosted on Ashley and Jasmine. I, I was like, I have to get Max, and so I just ran. <laughs> I looked uh, up and you were gone. So I was like, oh. <laughs> but we all um, got back together down at the bottom. And it was no, she abandoned me. She was gonna let me burn the building. I'm the one that came back in your apartment. Was like, hey, there's smoke in the hallway. <laughs> Jasmine had no idea anything was going on. But. Anyways, that's it. That's all for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next vlog.